Named after the Roman god of war, Mars may have had a more violent history than previously suspected. New research shows that Mars was originally one of two moons of a now-exploded parent planet. Indeed, evidence exists of six planet explosions throughout the history of our solar system. The most recent planetary explosion took place almost 65 million years ago. Its impact on distant Earth killed the dinosaurs and 70% of all species. But Mars was much, much closer. Somewhere near the present-day orbit of Mars, Planet V, a helium-class gas giant and parent of two large moons, Mars and Body C. Body C is a watery world. It's smaller and the outermost of the two twin moons. Mars is larger, drier, with a tighter orbit. Core evolution eventually leads to the collapse of Planet V, triggered when tidal forces from the moons and sun are at their strongest. Suddenly, an explosion. The surface of the moons facing Planet V are blasted as debris from the explosion expands throughout the solar system. The atmosphere of Mars is dramatically altered forever. These two moons enter eccentric orbits around each other for the next 62 million years. Tidal stresses gradually build in body C until 3.2 million years ago when another collapse becomes imminent. Again, debris, including water from body C, slams into the surface of Mars. Most of the water sublimates into the cold vacuum of space. The rest is absorbed into the Martian surface. Some of that water, and carbon dioxide, freezes to form ice caps at the Martian poles. Mars also captures two small asteroidal moons, Phobos and Deimos. Over 20 features of Mars as seen today are a testament to this history. Surface evidence shows that there were two separate major pole shifts in Martian history. The southern half of Mars is saturated with impact craters, while the northern half is smooth, flat, and relatively crater-free. Major surface volcanoes, once violently active, now lie dormant. The cratered surface has a crust that is up to 20 kilometers thick near the middle, tapering near its boundary while the smooth surface crust is a steady one kilometer thick for most of its hemisphere. A one-time major flood event with no evidence source modified the surface extensively. Highland craters with outflow channels have no viable sources for water from either atmosphere or soil. For more background information and additional evidence, or to subscribe to Meta Research, please visit our website at www.metaresearch.org. This has been a presentation of Meta Research.